Welcome to the Infogram DataViz Workshop Series, a collection of instructional pieces that show you how to turn your numbers into charts. I'll guide you through best practices with plenty of helpful tips along the way. Hi. Do you find that you've got a table of numbers in front of you and you need to create a data visualization but you're not really sure where to start? If you're new to data visualization, it can be a daunting task, but actually it's very simple and it'll be very fast for you to create a colorful, beautiful, and even interactive data visualization if you follow these simple categories that I'm going to present to you to choose the right chart for your numbers. Then you'll be able to create a digestible story to share with everyone. For a sample that changes over time, use a line chart. To compare more than one sample changing over time, use multiple lines. If you'd like to demonstrate how values rise and fall over time, display it using an area chart. If you want to compare, use a bar or column chart to point out which have the highest or lowest values. Either will do the trick, depending on which axis you'd like your variables to appear on. You can also use grouped to view different data sets at one glance, or make use of negatives to show a subtraction from the total. When showing percentages or parts of a whole, pie charts are your friend and come in various styles such as irregular or donut and can be customized to show callouts with the values. You could also use a bar chart and stack your values to add to 100%. If you want to just display progress, use a gauge chart. To show distribution from least to most common, this is where a histogram is used. Similarly, you can use a scatter to plot a large number of values against a second variable to display what the trend is. If you have three variables, a bubble chart allows you to add a third dimension of dot size, similar to a scatter. Using icons is a very effective way to visualize your data into an infographic, and can be done in various ways. Victorial, size comparison, facts and figures, which are bullet points of an icon, fact, and then a descriptive text, or use them in tables, either as a true or false, or combine as a size comparison. You can also use text in a visualization. Say if there's a value associated with the words, a tree map and word cloud can be used. The larger the value associated with the text, the larger the text. You're probably already familiar with tables if you want to cross-reference two variables with values. And as we just saw, facts and figures are a great way to make your points in text one at a time. Geographical data can be easily placed onto a map. Choose a region of the world, or the entire world, and what kind of data you want to display. Shading regions with heat map means that the darker the color, the higher the value. Or instead, how about if you'd like to create groups to show similarities in different regions? Instead of regions, you can use markers to display cities and landmarks. You could also use any of these along with pictorial, pictorial size comparison, additional text blocks, or text blocks alone to describe facts about the places. With Infogram, you can add text and images and adjust the layout of your charts to create a full project. Then you can publish it for your media website, use it for marketing and communications, blogging, and social media sharing. You can also download to generate your own internal reports or a vector for print. For more detailed explanations on how to use each of these charts, check out all the videos in their series, including how to publish for your specific industry and how to source your data. With Infogram's beautiful template styles and predefined color schemes, you only need to plug in your data and presto, publish it for web sharing and download. If you have any questions, reach out to our assistants and one of our data visualization experts will be happy to answer. Be sure to check out the other videos in our series.